Hi, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go green and better understand our home drinking water, both from the tap and from the bottle. So the fundamental question when discussing tap water is pretty basic. Is it safe? So what we're going to do is we're going to take eight ounces of just pure unfiltered tap water and eight ounces of water from two kinds of bottled water. One is an artesian, one is a mineral water. We're going to be testing for pH, which is the measure of acidity in your water, total alkalinity, which is the measure of resistance to change in pH, as well as chlorinity, the amount of chlorine, and finally, if your water is hard or soft. High pH levels can cause fatigue, weight gain, and digestive problems. Low alkalinity levels foster radical swings in pH. High levels of chlorine can irritate the skin, cause chest pains, and water retention in your lungs. Soft water is high in sodium and can negatively affect those with circulatory problems, heart disease, and people who are on low sodium diets, while hard water will be fine for your body, but will leave spots on your dishes and car because of the minerals. Okay, 20 seconds is up. So let's go ahead and take our test strip out, whisk off the water, and let's take a measurement. Starting at the top with pH, it looks like this tap water is somewhere between caution and safe. For total alkalinity, it looks like we're in good shape, ideal. For total chlorinity, somewhere between, well, right on safe. And finally, for water hardness, well, this water is pretty soft, this tap water. Let's try the same test, this time with artesian bottled water. 20 seconds, keep that on a strict timer. Go ahead and take your test strip out. Let's find out how our bottled artesian water rates. The first test, pH, looks like we are, well, it looks like we're somewhere between caution and safe, which means our artesian water is slightly acidic. Next test is a total alkalinity. And it looks like we're ideal there. Chlorinity looks pretty safe. And finally, the water hardness, again, soft on artesian water. Okay, let's try the mineral water. This one is a popular name brand mineral water. Again, 20 seconds with your strip. And again, make sure to whisk away the moisture off your test strip before you compare it to the chart. Starting again at pH, wow, looks like our pH is somewhere between dangerous and caution for this popular brand of mineral water. Alkalinity, total alkalinity, which is the resistance to change in pH, low. Total chlorinity, uh, pretty safe. And finally, water softness, well, it's kind of off the chart on soft. Another thing to keep in mind with bottled water is the amount of energy it takes to bottle and ship it. According to a 2001 report of the Worldwide Fund for Nature, roughly 1.5 million tons of plastic are expended in the bottling of 89 billion liters of water each year. The production of the plastic itself produces emissions and exploits enormous amounts of fossil fuels. Additionally, the amount of fuel consumed by trucks to transport bottled water compromises our environment and taps our natural resources. Let's review. Test your water with a home water test kit. You can find one at your local hardware store for around $10. Buy home water filters to improve taste, smell, and color, and try limiting your consumption of bottled water. Despite its popularity, bottled water is not necessarily safer or better than tap water. And tap water is certainly less expensive. So drink up. I'm Andrew. Go green.